Hey everyone, this is Manly Battlestar, and welcome back to Stay. Previously, we realized our main character is quite clumsy, as they knocked over some simple candles. So loading back in, as we've seen some dialogue has gone down, which I can't look at fully, but apparently, we found a room full of mirrors. They reflect the truth, the threshold between conscious and unconscious mind, letting humans have to conciliate self-awareness and self-deception. To see if our immoral secrets have emerged from deep within to find their way into our moral surface. Or perhaps it's just our way of looking for some guarantee of our continuing existence. Very philosophical game. Look who's back from the dead, Mr. Oscar. But he seems super scared, like he just saw a ghost or something. He probably did. What's wrong, Mr. Crazy Cat? What, cat got your tongue? What do you call that? Cannibal catnibalism? Is this a thing on? I would show myself out, but I can't, sorry. Be careful, he must have seen something. Mmm, prove those bonds. Ooh, yeah. Social links, go. I bet you're right. He's usually very quiet. Maybe he just freaked out with his own reflection. Or maybe he saw you. Ooh! That happens to cats, right? And humans, too. I'll leave him here before I enter that labyrinth. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be for a hell of a ride there. And this time I prefer doing it on my own. What can you see from where you stand? Just a beverage and what awaits you. Let me put a bunch of mirrors grouped together. Like those strange fun houses at the fair. What a sinister vision. My self duplicate in infinitude. Oh, how horrible. I'm looking over my shoulder. In case Rita Hayworth appears pointing a gun at me. Yeah, I'm as good as Orson Welles. With this mirror thing. Ego just rears its head spontaneously, you know. Do you see a way out, or is it a confusing labyrinth of mirrors? Welcome to my labyrinth. Enjoy your stay. It's a maze like mi like puzzle of mirrors. Can't quick quite figure out how many. They are lined in several rows. I think I'm confused already can't quite grasp the extent of it. What the fuck is this? Well, we already had evidence that whoever owns this place, you said as you began typing again, has a very twisted sense of style. From vintage office space to an indoor carnival. But apparently no money for a proper kitchen and toilet. Hey, they had priorities. At least they had the wine cellar stocked. People have all their priorities all screwed up nowadays. No one knows what's important anymore. Oh, well, just as long as you can feed your massive ego. With a room full of mirrors. I expect the mirrors, maybe there's something hidden in them. Maybe it's not be upset with me. I keep remembering these lines from an old movie. Mirrors are the doors by which death comes and goes. Look at yourself in the mirror all your life and you'll see death at work. All I see is my reflection. Let's see what we can find in here. Hopefully not one of them like just collapses on them. They're trap. Oh god. So now we know where we have the compass. So we're going south. Oh 
Okay. We're still going south. So now we're going to... Well, before we were going south, so that means this is the correct way. Now we're going east. You go north or south. I might have reached the dead end again. Don't know where I'm going. Just using instinct. I know when to hold him. Come on. I'm just going around a loop. I've gone insane. There. We did it. Just using pure instinct. And voila! I was able to go for the maze and ended up... in some sort of walk-in closet. Good, we're making progress. That explains the mirrors then. One hell of a walk-in closet. Modesty's out, my friend. One of the sides of the closet is empty and the other has it closed on the rack. And there's a door at the end of it. Rooms and doors and rooms and doors make this house amaze itself. Good luck for Narnia! Okay, but did you cost this time? Or are you sure? Maybe you like the Narnia reference. No, I got Bond. Come on, let's push that over acquaintance. No, I'm not. But there's not much I can do now. But if you were here in my shoes, having just found this new door, would you go back? Good question, right? The world is made for the brave. That's true. I don't count myself among them. That's true. Unless I'm forced to. That's true. Like right now. That's true. So here I go. See you on the other side. That's true. If there had to be a problem in this situation, you would never know if like you overlooked something so obvious. You just didn't check. Like a secret, annoying, ironic key, like I said. Hidden in the very beginning to get you out. Risk managers. 45% of users, including you, got understand we can never overcome danger without taking risks. So please make an effort in guiding Quinn the best possible way by taking chances. But of course, don't leave him to his death. Tough call, huh? Oh no, his deaths are very funny. It's a very easy call. I'm hoping we can maybe get the bond. I'm not sure if it goes past the Quintus, like, we'll pass the one next. We'll see. But you can kind of see it, like, it sinks up a little. See, like, they're kind of slowly reaching out. Slowly reaching. Hey, are you still there? I don't know how long I was away. I hit my head on the fall and passed out. I woke up in what appears to be a subterranean tunnel. It's dark and dank, but there's a feeble light in the middle of it. Which allows me to see further ahead, something on the floor. Next to the light, there's a rope hanging, and I can all see the reflection of a pool of stagnant water. And that's all I can say from this place. Am I still inside the house? Should I see what's at the end of the tunnel? Is that the rope or the tunnel?
I mean, the whole concept was going through hell. Check the tunnel. Okay, then. It's a trap. Let me get ready to do some crawling here, because it's really low and a bit narrow. Don't fall to your death. Unless the rope was the death. Congratulations, you're back at the beginning and now you're stuck. Weird. Holy shit, you know something on the floor I mentioned? It's not water, it's a bear. It's a polar bear rug. I wonder if there's a polar bear rug doing it in a tunnel. Desire and compulsion make us believe that everything is okay, but we keep it under the rug. One day or never, we all must address the facts head on. Is that a house? Specific words to swing that perhaps it's fake or you sure it's real. Come on without come on within is just to work whatever I'll just choose this one it sounds funny. We're talking about me, Anthony the Savage, Innocent, or Denzel the Cop. Or just a Bob Dylan fan and that's it. But you're right. It would be completely acceptable if this was the house of an Eskimo. I don't think that's the case here. It's just a house of some of quite questionable taste. Can we even call it a house? It's like a vault. Atrocious. Can't even look at it twice. I just hope I don't find what's left. Of course, he's still lying on the next room. Yes, I'll never forget him. Rest in peace, Cecil. It's becoming quite the house of horrors. Preferred attraction after the house of mirrors. You still do that correction thing, like, I, I understand what you're saying. Honestly, are we really in a fun fair? I've got a feeling about that rug. Check the rug. Dang, we're still in acquaintance. A feeling deep inside. Cause you're not alone. That rug is hiding more than just bad housekeeping. Our big fellow here is telling us we're facing a case of creative concealment. Where you hide the ugly, transform the unlovely, and distract from the hideous. What can you hide by such an ugly rug? Yeah, something worse, uglier, right? Yeah, piers. We're almost there. We're almost touching fully. Look at that. My thoughts exactly. A carpet is something that gets stepped on. You can have carpets with tacky patterns to hide stains, and the wear patterns where people walking along the same path all the time. I think it's Cedo ones. Or really weird and grotesque ones to hide under them secrets even weirder and uglier. Let me roll this bear onto his back. And see what the poor fellow was hiding. A door. Gotta go deeper, see? 87% of users, including you, PD members, must be boiling in rage at this particular moment. But let us ensure you that there are no animals were harmed in the making of this game. The only victim is here is poor old Quinn. Chapter 21. Three more chapters left.
This looks like a normal basement. Got the Pac-Mans. I came out the polar bear entrance. Into the guts of this house in an eerie basement. I'm being given the full house tour experience. But someone's wasting his time. I'm not buying it. I like one-story houses with wide windows and French doors. This just isn't my kind of crib. Not to mention they need some wicked expensive repairs. Hello, Ron Tunnel, anybody? Be careful. Basements are the scariest part of a house. You could have company hiding there. Come on, bond points. Dang. Oh, damn. It, don't say that. Can't hear a thing. There's nothing scarier than silence. That kind of silence that usually ends with a scary minor chord. Wrong. There's so much paraphernalia in here. I feel like a bargain hunter at a flea market. Although I never really appreciate someone else's garbage, TBH. A brand new bicycle, laundry room, and incomplete wall tour organizer. And a full size Pac Man arcade game. Once again, all signs of someone tried to find all means of temporary escape from the big bad world. Until finally he decided to kidnap someone. What do you think? He always assume it's a he? Since the tools are missing. So I call bad worrying news. Let's panic you. Well, maybe we're dealing with a sociopath. They can make charm by being a good name to lend, lends tools and Tabasco sauce. I've never been for such a continual flow of bad diagnosis like this in all my career. I just can't seem to nail it with the maniac who got me here. Anyways, I can see that a hammer and all the screwdrivers are missing. Hmm. And all the other ones seem to be misplaced. Strange. Forget that. It's of no use for now. Check out the laundry room. Leave some useful information in there. Replace the tools in the correct position. This is the perfect and yet at the same time worst activity for someone of OCD, which is not my case. I have other disorders not worth mentioning. Let's see if there's something useful results just a neat wall tool spot. Maybe it is just a tool spot. Oh god, it's gonna fall on It's just a the hammer! That's Damn, Quinn, you're so clumsy. All your deaths, they're not even lava traps. They're just like clumsiness deaths. He's just clumsy. The only one that was really trapped was the fridge. Maybe that was just an accident. Maybe it's just, you know, like it was a little leaky after all these years. It's like, well, let me just, let me just let me mess with these tools here. Well, that one looks like it may fall, but, you know, what, well, whatever. Let's try the arcade game. Hopefully it's not trapped.
Come on, Quinn. Play the arcade game. What's the worst that can happen? You die? Whatever you say, manly senpai. Oh, deep down inside, you must know. This could be mistaken, there's really no time to spare here. I mean, if you keep chatting at me, it's really eating up time right now. Just get going. Move. You ever been in an escape room? You move your butt. You go like... Alright. Everybody split up. Tear up absolutely everything and break it. And then they get pissed because you're breaking everything. Oh god! I, f I love these. I love his deaths. They're just amazing. Everything is a trap. Oh look, we found something different this time. Female DNA among the ancient moral figures of Taoism. The selfless seeker of spiritual freedom, she was found floating in a cloud. Kinda like my opinions. I turn my head to make direct contact with a vicious cast iron furnace at the end of the room. Hmm, sending some bad vibes. You bomb the house, or has to be a forgotten way out. Go to the furnace! It's not trapped, like everything else. It seems really out of place here. Who has a charcoal furnace in the 21st century? A vintage collector, a serial killer? Stupid question after everything I've seen in this house. It looks like the perfect place to dispose of bodies. Next to it, there's two locked boxes. Like it houses the Queen's Mother's Crown. And with what appears to be a riddle inscribed on it. One says long legs, crooked thighs, little head, and no eyes. And everyone says trust everyone but always cut the cards. And there's something stuck in the walls in the furnace. What should I do? Tongs or poker? Poker? Let's try the tongs first. Some more tongs are used in a furnace. Hostile challenges ahead or compulsive situations are hard to escape from. Grief and worries. But also a tool of forge to produce something beautiful or make whole what was broken. Maybe that's a little more optimistic than a poker. Charcoal burning something to grab hot coals. Didn't you know you were a riddle expert? Or did you just Google and you trick a trickster? If you did, you're the best. Thanks, manly senpai. No problem. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Even though you're trapped, you still have time to watch my videos for all eternity. But it could be useful to try and reach that thing stuck inside the furnace. Damn it, the furnace is locked. Thought this was being too easy, of course not. Got to unlock this piece of crap. A puzzle! Can we solve it, Mr. Layton? Oh, I don't even know what these are. Oh, okay, I see. Well, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Except for, try them all. It's about how right we got it, or how wrong.
only one right? Is that what that meant? Or is that how many ops chances we have? Let's just do it wrong and see what happens when we get them all wrong. We're doomed! Okay, resets. That one was correct. This one was correct. And they're all correct now. Right? Maybe they have to be solid? Let's do it like this instead. Three symbols are correct. Switch you out. Okay, we gain another symbol, and we know this goes here for sure. This one might be wrong. So let's put you in. Interesting, it did not change. So it's a bat that might be wrong. Do like this. No, bad is correct. It's the wrong spot. Well, I can tell you that now. That goes there for sure. Bat may not be correct. Is it four of these? Hmm. They became solid, see? That's a little weird. So... Bat goes there, maybe? And then you go you know, there? Something got upgraded. Might have been Bat. This could be the one of the wrong ones. Yeah, that's a trade-off. Whatever one I have not done over here. Two Bats. We're good. Done. Anyways, I started working and it suddenly stopped. They probably burnt the rest of whatever was, whatever was inside. Whatever's something truly horrific inside. Like someone's dead half-burnt body. Think with me. This is not the most cozy, welcoming part of the house. It smells rotten in here. Could be from something dead. Don't look inside, then. If you're dead, it can't hurt you. He's like, on the contrary, if it's a zombie. We're so close. Come on. Max, that's social link. Yeah, genius, but still not nice to look at. And I'm the one that will be stuck with that image in my head forever. I said I don't have enough trauma to live with. And I want everyone hunting me for life. Besides, if someone's dead in there, it probably means I'm next. And that's something I'm eager to find out. Crap, on the other hand, I feel I need to see what's inside. You know that mingled morbid sensation? Like when there's a car crash and you pass by it? Do I look away? Nope, I have to see it. I have the same feeling now. But I'm gonna do what I always do. What chapter are we on? Let's see, Forensic Pathologists. Are cold-blooded humans who are still not aware that in the case of a zombie apocalypse, even if you can hide or fight back, you have a 0.88 chance of surviving more than 100,000 days. Good luck. So is anyone else fought of zombies? I just took something from inside the, f the furnace. It's an envelope. A love letter? I'm surprised the thing didn't burn up. Should I open it? There's no sender risk something marked. With all the information, I'm not breaking the law, right? That's right, I'm still an honest citizen. I'm opening it and what the hell? A puzzle!
that guy would go there. And then... Put these over here. We need more... No. Here? Good. I really feel like this is supposed to fit there, but it isn't. So it probably goes up here instead. And that doesn't have the right bend. That would go right there. And we're solving everything but the main puzzle. <laughs> like, nah. That's your pants. Right there. Good. And then... Small piece. Now we can start assembling this piece properly. Just goes right here. Like yeah. Like yeah. Where'd you go, Nia? Here it is. Like yeah. Okay, we got a piece there. Excuse me while I put his pants on. It looks like it fits there, but it doesn't quite yet. There. That's more correct. And this would go in here. This actually goes in the corner. There's his head. I don't think there is some of the pieces like aren't here, per se. Okay. There we go. Now it's all lining. Now the pieces are coming together. So it's a torn up photo. That's why I kept looking for like a void over here. It's a photo of me. That one last impression, that mental imprint that endures for life, the ensuring memory. And also proof for irreversible actions of no turning back, looking at the means, looking deeper at something from your past you need to let go of. I wanted to be a photographer, not a psychologist. Was I being followed? I was being watched all this time. How much does this guy know about me? I believe I should face the bastard right now. Lay up his jaw like the Times Square at Christmas. What on earth is this? The temperature dropped big time. Because there's no furnace. It's colder than a witch's tit. I never heard that saying. Colder than a whore's heart. I'm shaking like a monster at a tax bureau. These are a lot of euphemisms that I don't quite enjoy because they're not quite funny. I'm so cold I can hear my breath scrape the air. Time to lay up that furnace. And it blows up. The laughing gas is finally here! <laughs> I guess that's what it's here for. Good thinking. Thanks for the idea. But there's no charcoal. I don't see much to use as fuel. Unless I burn all this junk. But matches? Lighter? don't have either of those. How am I going to get this furnace back in action? I saw some 9-volt batteries, paper clips, old clothes, and steel wool. You could actually make a fire with that. There's some fuel and old books here. Perks of being in a jam-packed basement. But how do I start a fire with all this junk? Old book, paper clip, and battery. Actually, you know, it's steel wool. Battery, steel wool, fuel. I think both of them can work in some way.
I think both of them actually could have worked. Just one of them might have been like a trap. Thank you for the wonderful information. I think I saw something like that. On one of those late night surfing infomercials, you end up watching a man cutting a car in two of scissors, learning how to make a fire indoors. So if I rub the paper on both battery terminals, yes, I can see some sparks. Kind of like how a toaster oven operates, I guess. Good, you got fire. And you got another room. <gasps> the ninja! I mean, the guy. Oh god, he's using what? Wait a minute. We didn't subscribe for this. Why are you texting me while there's a tentacle monster in front of you? Holy fuck, holy shit, holy everything, that's it. I'm ready for the cuckoo's nest. There's a thing, a half monster, half man staring at me right now. If you ban me at this point, I won't judge. Goodbye! I would abandon myself right now if I could. Quick, stop texting me and actually do something! What the hell? Is this real? Maybe you are taking pills. Don't be afraid. I'm just playing tricks on you. It's just straight, don't be afraid. That's not, like, alarm him that he's going crazy. Whoa, wait, that's pretty real. Don't be afraid. Of what? I don't feel good. My head's spinning around. I'm confused. It's a symbolic fight, probably. It doesn't want to hurt you! I'm gonna say this and it's just gonna like, strangle him. <laughs> Do I have to like, see which one has the most text? Quick, go leave half a surface sprout! Pretty sure he wants to hurt him, yeah. Doesn't want to hurt me. It made me go free hell and high water for the what then? What do I feel weird? Am I having disturbing thoughts? I don't know if it's my, my, my imagination or I'm just remembering things. You know it. This is so surreal. I know it. I don't. I really don't. It's not real. None of this is real. You know you can leave any time you want. What are you saying? Maybe, maybe we're the therapist. This is one of those like weird alternate ways of doing therapy. I tried, I can't. Who are you? And and this thing. And then the, the thing is, he's actually the pit and patient all along. He's got one of those things where... Some kind of paranoia? Where they always feel like they're trapped in their own home, but some trapping themselves or something? I, I know something happened, but why do you care? It was not your fault, accept it.
that the Cthulhu and Ninja has backed off. Bond went up. Majorly, we up the friend. Is there still room to grow? Maybe. It's gone. Whatever it was, whatever it meant. It's gone. It left a trail of ashes with a piece of stained glass on it. Lotus flower. There's some numbers there. This magnificent aquatic perennial plant emerges from the murky bottom of a pond, remaining untouched and unstained at the surface. The journey from darkness to enlightenment, strength and perseverance. I guess there's a little bit more room. It's probably like good friend is the next one. It's like it'd be fully hands and collapsed. I'm sorry. I would love to be able to explain to you what happened, but I can't seem to find words to describe something I don't understand. I'm just sitting here confused, and the world around me forever changed. Don't even know if this is good or bad, or just is. But I do know one thing. Like I've reached the end of some scripted path, like a game you're stuck in that someone may be commentating over. That I had to travel in order to get here. Through this strange encounter, I kept revisiting memories. And none of them were good. Was I kidnapped by this entity? Is this over? Wait, the cat just showed up. I'm gonna be like, it's gonna haunt me, I didn't choose the right cat. There's no clock on him anymore. He brought me something else. The lockbox from the attic. Oh, now we have information. We have all the little click things. Facebook page called Fire Walk with Me. Chapter 23. There's 24 chapters. So will the last one just be an epilogue? Because it looks like we're at the climax. This Flannery O'Connor quote keeps popping up in my head. Where you come from is gone. Where you thought you were going to never was there. And where you are is no good unless you can't get away from it. That's exactly how I feel at this moment. Memories are formed and rebuilt every time they are accessed. But every time you repeat that particular narrative that works as your shadow, you corrupt, you corrupt its content. And you are trapped in this half-real, half-fiction loop. Anyways... That's the thing about memories, you can't forget them. This one is not from Flannery, it's from Lex Lufor. You and your references... Memories? Let's be a little more empathetic. To remember or to forget? Imagine a future where the act of remembering becomes a choice. Would that prevent you from ruminating on your bad memories? Maybe the half, half of the picture was like a friend, or who knows what, some, some person you're close to and you're indirectly connected to their disappearance or death, we'll see. At the beginning I thought that going voluntarily for that swamp of sadness would guide me to self-repair, but I kept drowning just like Artax. My brain lost the ability to purge those unpleasant associations and now it lives forever in me like a hidden shadow that you can't see, but you feel its constant brutal presence. Those memories remain horribly intense, leaking in the present and ruining the future. I just can't refrain it all and go on with my life. I'm completely broken inside. I know you're tired. Do you have to open it? Don't beat yourself up. I'm here to help, help, help you pick up the pieces to become whole again. Don't beat yourself up because you still have a mission. Increased bond, but I don't think we're going to go past friend because we made some mistakes early on. A therapist is supposed to be someone with the capability of absorbing. And processing complex ideas about human emotions, right? But what do you do when you feel like a patient? I have one single mission in this life, and I failed. 
And now I'm here with a Pandora's box in my head. And probably never one in my hands. The thing is, this still needs a combination. And I do not have it. We have items here. L. Where was the other one? We have that too. X. X. Two. It's a number. Lid. Well, these are numbers, see? So it has to only be two letters. Maybe I should ignore one and just make it LD, as in lid. The I is, like, not needed. It's just there to kind of, like, tell you how to say it. And then the other number... Okay. Let's try this. What's the photo? You know that feeling when you're faced with what? You fear and love the most at the same time. How do you deal with such mixed feelings? These avalanche of lost possibilities in which... You want to be buried forever and never be found again. It's the other half of the photograph from the furnace. All this for some photos? Hopefully that's not the mean option. Yes it is! We're not peers, we don't longer like each other. If you think photos aren't important now, wait until they're all you have left. Wait until time starts to erase all those details you were so fond of. When you look at the picture, you look into your past today, and you look directly into your mortality. You're no longer that chubby kid or that pimple teen. Your world is changing and it will end someday. Boy, you are texting a lot. And then you realize that the problem is what lies outside the frame. There's a scared necklace inside the box as well. Protective Talisman of the Living and the Dead, Internal Renewal of Life, shows you the prosperous of life where you can choose to continue the same old path or appear down the path of awakening and enlightenment. So it explains why all the items are there. Like, they're not even like items you use, they're all symbolic story items. Lola well, likes that river religious journey. Someone told, told, once told me that it's supposed to be the most powerful of all amulets, symbolizing the sun, protection, and transformation. They are worn by the living and buried with the dead. How much easier would it be to rely on the magical power of such an object? Wait a minute. They're just running in life, and then the you know, tentacle monster attacks again. He's watching me from the dark. He was here all the fucking time, just took off upstairs. He looked different. He knew exactly what I'd do, where I'd be. I was controlled the whole time. Following his instructions. For what purpose? Why? Forget about him. Search for an exit. Well, we're not still not up here. Sometimes not doing anything could be a healthy action. But since we're able to get this far... It seems a bit of a waste not to see where it ends. 
I understand and above all appreciate your concern. But there's something I have to do. Pull off the mask, it's him. You know what they say, a faint heart never won the wet fair lady. Where's that symbol on the wall? It was your house all along! Gosh, this is awkward. I'm here talking to you. Yeah, you have a real texting addiction. You can get over that. He's just standing there looking at me. Probably in a menacing way. I can't see. I guess there's no more hiding out behind games, riddles, and masks. But he's the one who brought me here. And now he's making me chase him around the house? I want to yell at him, ask him why me, why am I here? What the hell did I do to him? But the words won't come out. I can't speak. Be careful, this could be his final trap. A mental trap? That would be the intelligent thing to do. But I'm not intelligent. For the moment, I'm just desperate to know where it takes us. And I can't shake the feeling that after this, whatever happens, everything will be okay again. It's my lifeline of hope. Lucy Snow, what's wrong? Hey, can you still hear me? I've never been hearing you. You've been typing. I followed him. He just entered a room. That looks exactly like the first room where it all began. And where I first met you. And there's two options. He's going to face me in all this charade. Or... Either way, I'm taking my chances. He manly said, by the closer I get to the room, the weaker the signal is. You'll have to confront your own inner demons yourself, Quinn. Without me. There's something cliche like that. But this is where we say goodbye and go our separate ways. Thank you for everything. You stayed with me for the bad and worse. Stay. I promise to stay and help you, title drop. No matter how good or bad it was between us, you stuck with me till the very end. Except for those two few times I left for 24 hours, I'm not ready to face my responsibility. I acknowledge that everything happens for a reason. And sometimes you are the reason. I've made huge vital mistakes which I can't fix anymore. But I still have the chance to figure out what really happened. And who's responsible for it all? Thanks once again, and who knows? You still owe me all that wine. And more than one bottle. Multiple. Maybe our paths will cross again someday. But in a friendlier situation, I hope. Take care. Oh, that was the... In the TV set. In the ID 
I know nothing and my heart aches. I'm not sure what ending we got, if that's the ending. I'll have to check my Chivos, see which one I got.
Oh, damn. Didn't even get a main ending. I wonder how what even determines it. So we actually check, we're actually missing two rooms here. It's interesting enough. And a lot of objects. So that's it for stay, or at least of what I'm gonna play anyway. I think there's about seven endings. One is like the main, I'm assuming the true ending. And I believe you actually have to replay the whole game to change what ending you get. I didn't see a chapter select function except when I died. So I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. But either way, I think the triggers to get the triggers for the different stories, you probably do have to replay the game. And I don't quite feel feeling like doing that because the game is long enough where I feel like that'd be a bit tedious and I already know the answers to the puzzles. Storyline wise, I think I already kind of got it. It's it's either it's like a limbo or it's a self-imposed mental, kind of maybe even drug-induced uh, confinement. He may have even made his own super mansion. I'm sure the, the big bad may not even exist and we see it as some kind of thing of regret. Like I said, drug abuse and um, his girlfriend and the TV has a lot of like lore hints and stuff. And I'm sure, like I said, that's revealed if you get the other endings or the main ending, but I think we got the gist of the plot line anyway. Now, what I think of Stay, I think it's a good game. I use quotation marks here. I don't know where the actual stay and leave mechanic comes into play. I didn't notice if it was making an effect or if it's real subtle or if it's just the ending or not. It's a little poorly communicated within the game. It's all over the marketing and it's all over the main menu, but I don't know where it comes in. It is a possibility. It just It's just that 13 hour mark of in-game time is what counts. And then you maybe get a game over. Or, or maybe, maybe you get a true ending. True ending is staying for 13 hours. <laughs> Hence the name stay. Who knows? So mechanically, I think that's miscommunicated. And I like the puzzles. So they're a little bit obtuse at times, but they're difficult. They're, they're actual puzzles and they actually require you to think, which is appreciative. There could have been some pacing and judge adjustments. Certain acts of the game are better than others. Other ones are a little bit too slow, and that could be maybe based on how I'm playing. Maybe I made it more easier or harder. I don't know. And Quinn himself, I'm not too fond of Quinn. He's all right, but he doesn't really do anything for me to uh, make me especially like him. So that's partially why I have less incentive to go back and play it. So a solid game. I, I can't fault it in any actual specific way. It's the nuances that kind of falter. But I, I will admit that the actual deaths that were there were actually hilarious. I love those. The fact that they were just all little quirky accidents, not even elaborate like death traps, was hilarious to me. So I like that. I mean, that's enjoyable. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Stay. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.